What actions will give us the highest rewards? There are many actions that give the highest rewards. Not just one, but of them without a doubt is Iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala itself. And then the Salah. And then the Salah. Can you pick that up? Okay. Oh, one of the greatest acts of reward is the Salah. And that is why the Pro Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls the Salah in the Quran, Iman. The only action that Allah has called Iman. He has called the Salah Iman. As Allah says in Surah Al-Baqarah, مَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيُضِيعَ إِمَانَكُمْ Allah will not allow your Iman to go to waste. This is a reference to the prayer that was prayed towards Baytul Maqdis, towards Jerusalem. When the Qibla was changed, the Sahaba said, what about those people who used to pray in Baytul Maqdis and they died? What will happen to them? Allah revealed in the Quran that your Iman, meaning the Salah, shall not go to waste. So of the greatest actions of Iman is the Salah. Also studying Islam. Studying Islam. This is because uh, the person who is knowledgeable will worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala based upon that knowledge. And no person can fear Allah like the Alim. Allah says in the Quran, إِنَّمَا يَخْشَ اللَّهَ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ الْعُلَمَاء Only the ulama really and truly fear Allah. The ulama, they are the ones who know Allah and they know the commandments of Allah. So we study the Quran and Sunnah, we study tafsir, hadith, fiqh, aqidah, all of these sciences. This is one of the, field, the, the fundamental building blocks of Iman. Of the actions of, uh, of Iman that are very praiseworthy to Allah is dhikr, remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Always remembering Him. Whenever we do an act, we say Bismillah. Whenever something good happens, we say Alhamdulillah. Constantly remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. Of the acts that are closest to Allah is the recitation of the Qur'an. The recitation of the Qur'an is one of those acts that will cause you to enter Jannah and cause your intercession on the Day of Judgment. And they can go on and on, but the general rule is any good deed. Any good deed, whatever it is, is a means of increasing your Iman. And even abstaining from evil, even abstaining from evil, this too is a way of increasing from your Iman. When you are tempted to do an evil, and you say, no, I will not do this because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even this is a way of increasing your Iman.